I need a break. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No, wait. He needs a break. Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. None of us is safe. Not tonight. All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. We should rest here for a while. You asleep? That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut-eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. Any ideas how we're getting out of here? Listen, it's clear now, there's no help available. We're on our own. Sure seems that way. Our best shot, maybe our only shot, is to stop that girl, Mary. Getting to Mary, stopping her might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Mary's the key to everything that's happened. The trials, the executions. Sure, but how are we supposed to stop her? Not even sure she's real. <laughs> Too late for us to do anything now. Fat it. This is over. We have to try. We owe it to the others, and ourselves. Mary's the key to this. I'm certain of it. What's going on? You okay? My eyes were just burning for a second there. It's okay, I'm good now. Listen to me. We see her again. We do whatever is necessary. <laughs> What's that? Shh, shh. Hell no, that thing is back to finish me off. Okay, okay. Wait until you have a clean shot. Point that goddamn thing at someone else, will you? <laughs> Angela! My god. Never thought I'd see you again. I, I was sure you... you... were gone. We thought... you know. We're all glad you made it. Stop it. You're gonna make me blush. But thank you. No one messes with you. For sure. You are one tough lady. The whole crew is back together. You rounded everyone up. Good job. Mm, not quite. They found us. Right now, our priority is getting you safe. Let's go. We've come across more of those things since you left us. The thing that chased after me was horrendous. Now you're telling me there's more of them? What in God's name are they? You okay without your glasses? I most certainly am. There is plenty here I don't want to see. You lost your glasses, but not your sense of humor. Good. You hear that? I heard it. Sounded close, too. Just gotta keep moving. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let me help you down. Doesn't matter. We have to keep moving. <sighs> Easy. Come on. I got gotcha. you. Come on. Oh. Oh. Got gotcha. you. Andrew? You there? Daniel? Taylor? How we got out of there in one piece, I'll never know. Hold the celebrations. We're still cornered in shithole central. And the fucking mutants are still out there. We gotta keep moving. It is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. Heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. Everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Three executions, three tormented beings, and so far your students have all avoided damnation, eternal suffering. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. Keep a lookout for the girl. We have to stop her. I, for one, hope I never see that girl ever again. Pretty sure she'll be back real soon. Let's not get too close, huh? Come and check this out. Looks kind of beautiful. 
What do you think? Kind of weird looking. No, this cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full Keep of remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I'm not so sure. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong, for all our sakes. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No, we never even saw her. Fuck. We met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds of years ago. How you doing? Ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. I'm pissed. That's crazy. Sick of this whole thing. I don't belong with these people. None of them even likes me. They don't get me. Yeah, maybe. But the truth is, you never wanted to be one of them anyway. You kept yourself apart. Fuck off, Daniel. Seriously. I'm doing my best in this nightmare shitstorm. Hey, okay. I'm sorry. My bad. Sorry, I'm crabby because of all this shit. It isn't personal. Thanks, Daniel. You're too good to me. We need to get moving.
That you? Hold on to me. Whatever happens, do not let go. Help me! Don't let go! I'm not go. letting go. We gotta move, okay? What the fuck is that thing? Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. back there with that thing <sighs> no idea it was a real shit storm what do you think seems like it wanted to haul my ass off into the woods can't even think about what might have happened to me is the tide beginning to turn in our favor whatever we saw back there or thought we saw we're still in grave danger there's got to be a way of stopping the girl we might have already missed a chance to change things you had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? He doesn't mean it, Andrew. It's just this mess we're in. Look on the bright side. We're all still here, so we must be doing something right. Can't get across here. Need to find another way. Sure, I've been here before. Can't go through the front. No surprise there. Hey, up here. Hey! 
Hey! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary... is just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits. Devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not Hall. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. What do you think? Is he right about this? Maybe I'm being dumb, but I don't get how we, or anyone, can change something that happened hundreds of years ago. Normally, I'd agree with you, but we can see these events. Somehow they're running parallel to us, so I think we can change them. What the fuck? We can't stay. 
Let's get out of here. No way. Come and take a look at this. You won't believe this. But we're in this photo. All of us. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait, who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like. Okay.
this is someone's personal stuff. Doesn't feel right. Can you help me out here? Doing what? You take that side, I'll take this side. We push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Let's go before anything else happens. Oh! <laughs> 
fucking thing. Professor? Professor? Andrew? Daniel? Oh, thank God. We didn't think we'd see you again. Got lucky, I guess. First time tonight. Glad you got out in one piece. This isn't done yet. That thing is still after me. And did you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. Something moving over there. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? No sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'll down as you face you in madness. Roy, you by six servants. We have to stop this. Get away. You give me that. Look. See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orf rests in your hands. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? John! What are you doing? I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! I'm not waiting around to watch you get yourself killed! Fuck, I'm ready! 
Parker! Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. Something isn't right is this shitty town's motto. Professor and Angela were husband and wife in a past life. I'm pretty sure I would have remembered if I married Angela. This makes less and less sense.
Shit! What was that? Gotta be the girl. Let's go find her. <laughs> She's in here. What the hell? Stay here. Andrew, what's going on? Oh, let me go! Andrew! We are all gathered here in one place again. I am filled with dread at the purpose. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Orb, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. God help us. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tin child, this creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Don't buy her bullshit. She's evil. She may be just a kid, but what she's done is beyond evil. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. To Mary and Mary alone. No question there is something very wrong here. Right in the heart of this place. There can be no doubt that little hope is afflicted. That darkness has taken hold of our town. There is not a man or woman here today who does not already know the devil is in our midst. The sole purpose of this court is to remove evil, not indulge it further. Our time is not for wasting. Listen to him. He's right. This is Mary's fault. How do I make my decision? If I am wrong, I condemn an innocent to die. Mary has to pay for what she's done. There's no other way to resolve this. The court has to decide her fate. Traitor! Go and leave me be! Abraham, ignore his words. He is no friend to us. She pleads with her evil spirits. What more evidence of guilt does the court require? 
sentence I must pass is for the good of the town and all who live here. There is no other way to rid us of the evil you have brought. Mary, you will be taken from this court and burned at the stake as a heretic and witch. This is how you care for me. You are no different to any of the others. The sentence to be carried out immediately. We cannot risk further attempts from the devil to rescue his disciple. Eternal damnation awaits you, sister of Satan. You will roast the fires of hell! I've really messed up here. What happened to that girl was wrong. I've made a bad mistake. Whatever questions we still got, they won't be answered now. Let's just get out of here. You okay? What just happened? I think we've seen the last of that kid.
thought I might find you here. <laughs> well, been through the trenches, huh? Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. Nothing but ghosts left here now. Free piece of advice. You stay out of that place. This is what you had. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. About 10 minutes down the road, there's a diner and got a working phone in it. Don't come back. Ain't nothing here for you no more. traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. 
not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends on what makes you happy, really. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. But lost him again. Forever. Till we meet again, maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. But we will meet again, at least one more time.